Right, back on again. This is the tree that stands alone that you have to look out for when you emerge from Frog's Coombe, which is down there. I've been down there with Georgia. 2014, four years ago, Georgia and I did some lovely walks around here together. I wasn't feeling very good, actually, because that was um, not long after the boat trip again, where some where I got this huge bang to my whole body from being on this rib boat and it's almost like it uh, deflated my lungs or something it's, they've never been this they are better, they're getting better but I remember that walk because whereas I used to be pretty good and I, ne I never I could, I never used to have breathing problems not as really but I noticed it then I just thought it was indigestion I couldn't get any breath, you know and so that was four years ago uh, yeah, that was two years after the boat trip, actually. I was starting to get those sort of problems and my fingers were swelling up. All sorts of strange things. Like we've got heart failure or something. But, uh... Anyway, not to worry about it. This is a beautiful place. Just certain things get sparked off in my mind. And I was over there. I've been on that hill now. I've been on it before anyway. I know that now. I've skirted round it before now as well, the other side on the Coleridge Walk. Now, I climbed up that earlier, got a good viewpoint. There was a little bit more higher I could have done, which I'm going to probably do for another time. I don't think I got to the very top, but I'm not sure. I was pretty well up there. So that's, that, that's just something to leave for another time. And to ha perhaps have a look round the other side, walk the other way round, you know. There's a lot to see, to just because I'm two hours behind today. Otherwise, I might have explored a bit more around that hill. But I still needed to find out how I was going to get here. So, I like to leave plenty of time to do the exploring. Yeah, I want to go the other side of it to get views from the other side as well, yeah. So it's, it is nice today because it's not baking hot. There's not a cold wind, there's no rain. But this of course for photography, it's not good. It's very grey. Um, I'm having to use flash for the photographs. And like I said, it's, it's autumn. Se the reason autumn seems to have come early is because of the extreme hot weather. That extreme hot weather sucked a lot of water out of the ground, depriving these plants of um, very important moisture, you know, and fluids. So, um, now that ridge that runs along the top there, that's called hair nap, higher hair nap. And I've, I have done that quite a few times, walked that and gone down back into Holford that way. Right, further over there, we've got where the Beacon Hill, where I walked the other week. Oh, uh, that might be further around yet, actually. That might, that, that might be um, Lady's Edge, that you walk, which is above Shepherd's Coombe and Hodder's Coombe, that next one. And I think Beacon Hill might be further over. We'll get our bearings in a minute. Of course, this will lead us to Bicanola Post. There's no pressure to rush. Now we've done the the little bit of exploring I wanted to do along this ancient track as well. I can't get over this. I can just hear the marching armies going along here, you know. I can just hear it. Well, I'm glad I've come out today because I was getting a bit of cabin fever. Um, and, and I've been suffering with a lot of tiredness. I know I've done an awful lot of walking in that heat wave. I think it sort of drained me a bit. Um, I think it drained me a bit. So I'm replenishing. But here we go. Here's Holford Coombe. Branching out to Ladies Coombe that way. Frogs Coombe this way. And I'm going to be leading up. I'm going to follow the higher tracks all the time. Um, we've got our bearings now. I was even able to confidently to explain to a biker 
um, where he was because he looked a bit lost <laughs> trying to find where he was with his two boys. Um, they'd actually parked right out on the fringe, Lydiard Hill, uh, and we're wanting to explore this. So they're a very long way away, so they'd be better off parking up just down there at Crocombe, really. And uh, then they got all this to come and... So it's a long hike for them. They're, they're going to try and get back to their car now via um, Greatwood. I don't know if you can. Now, a minute ago, there were two people, a man and a woman, and uh, they've disappeared. I'd give, them, I'd give them time to get away. Now, you see, I could have branched off now. That would take me on to higher hair nap. I'll just if that's a deer or a horse there. And it might not be, it might just be a stump of a tree. Oh, there's some people. I don't know, they look, they, from, from my eyes, they look like cows. Up there. Well, those cows are getting everywhere, aren't they? So just coming off higher in the hair and nap, there's some group of about four or five people. No sight of deer anywhere. There's that hill again. So all these reference points I talk about will make more sense. Once you've visited them, Sheila, of course, you know, it, it looks, it's a wood. That hill is actually a wood, an old gnarled wood in there. Lots and lots of very brittle looking trees, very ancient trees. So anyway, that would lead me to ha higher hair nap. Black Hill's up there where there's a trick point, which I've, do I've done in detail on all other videos over the last couple of years, as I've been exploring. So we did some exploring. We found um, Dead Woman's Ditch, and we actually climbed up 